you all, this is Ty with our collectibles in Ty's Collectibles. I can't be the only one excited for the arrival of Wave 4. Just a few hours ago, Mattel Creations opened their website for members and it's still open at the time of this upload. We already placed an order for number 22 and number 25 on Amazon and we're just waiting for them to get here on the 27th. So while waiting, I reviewed the comments on the unboxing videos of the first four dolls we got from the series. One of the comments asked to see a video of us removing the clothes. Um, maybe to see what they look like up close? You know what? That's actually a good suggestion. So let's meet again number 20, number 21, number 23, and number 24. We will take their clothes off respectfully and we will look at their outfits and their details. Let's start with number 20. This is everything number 20, or Andra, let's call her Andra, comes with. So starting off with her top, this is a high neck sleeveless crop top made of not so stretchy material. There's just enough stretch to it. And she also has this metallic lavender skirt, which stops right above her knees when worn. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a tag here that says Barbie Signature. Her top doesn't have a tag, but this one does. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in our unboxing video, but this material they used here is prone to creasing. Not sure if you can see it, but I have had her in a sitting position once when I took some pictures and it left it like this yeah which is why when I take her pictures I always have her standing up to avoid further damage to this both her top and her skirt velcro in the back and she has these knee-high boots the footwear of our dolls in this series have a metallic or pearly sheen to them, which I think is a part of the theme, metallic pastel. Number 21. So number 21, or Hyde, is wearing an all pink outfit, but in different shades of pink. So her top is made of slightly stretchy material. I believe this is the same kind of material used in the outfit of number 20. Here it is in closer detail. This velcros in the back, and there are no tags inside. She's also wearing this um, glossy pleather, and this also velcros in the back. One thing that I did not notice until recently is there is actually a sewn on underwear here. This is just a strap of pink ribbon, but 
that's a neat detail. And this is actually a good idea because for some skirts that didn't have this, just like what our tall Millie here is wearing, there's a tendency for the skirt to ride up and we do not want that in our pictures. And just like Andra's skirt, Hyde's skirt also has a Barbie signature tag inside. Lastly, she's wearing these pink ankle boots with stitch details. Number 23. She's wearing this one shoulder dress in blue with metallic jackward print. Here it is in closer detail. Reminds me of glitters, but it's jackward print. Her dress velcros in the back. And let's see if there's a tag here. Yep, there's a Barbie signature tag right there. I love the details on this dress. However, I also noticed that just like the fabric used on the skirts of number 20 and number 21, creasing also becomes obvious if you leave your doll in a sitting position for a long time. Then you'll be left with a crease dress. Ugh. Lastly, she is wearing this pair of hang on, blue strapped high heels with straps and buckle details. Here it is up close, not sure if it's focusing right there. One neat detail I observed in her footwear is that there's clear distinction between what's left and what's right. Unlike the other sandals that we have, like you can interchange the left with right, vice versa, but here I tried wearing the left on her right and it doesn't fit right. So yeah. Number 24. All right, so these are the pieces of clothing she has. She's wearing this glittery pink dress with silver trim at the top. I think this is a thin silver ribbon sewn on. 
And on Mattel Creations website, it says this is a strapless dress, but in person, you can see here that uh, there are transparent straps. Um, I remember seeing this in older dolls, and one thing I don't like about this is it tends to degrade over time. I believe these are meant to be temporary, so if you get this doll and you wish for her to have a strapless dress, you have an option to remove them. Also, just like the skirt on number 20, she also has a sewn-on underwear. The difference is that this is not a pink ribbon. This is actually a um, thin piece of fabric. It's not ribbon. And this closes with Velcro at the back. I like this a lot. And to finish her look, she's wearing this pair of peep toe heels with strap and buckle details. Not sure if it's focusing. You can see the details there. And this has a um, leather texture to it. Also, just like the footwear of number 23, there's clear distinction between her left and right. And before we forget, yep, there's also a Barbie signature tag. I would like to give a review of the outfits of number 22 and number 25, but since we don't have them yet, let's go to Mattel Creations website and take a look at what they're wearing. Okay, so here we are on Mattel Creations website looking at doll number 22, or Victoria. She's wearing this pink jumpsuit with sequin details, and based on the pictures, it appears that her outfit velcros in the back. Um, personally, I think this would have been better backless, but that's just me. She's also wearing silver block heels with straps and buckle details. Doll number 25 wears a t-shirt which, according to Mattel Creations, is chartreuse, but I don't think this is the same shade of chartreuse as what number 18 is wearing. Um, they're both described as chartreuse, but we'll find out once we have them in person. He's wearing lavender pants, which looks like the same material as the pants worn by number 17, and he finishes the look with a pair of silver boots. You can't see in the pictures just how high the boots are, but I'm guessing they go past his ankles. I may have already provided a favorite out of the outfits of the dolls we already have. But since it's been literal days now since we first saw them, um, I sort of changed my mind about which my favorite is. If we are ranking favorite outfits, I think number 24 or Simone wins that spot. This is such a flattering look for her and I like that this is made of um, this glittery fabric. As for the favorite doll, I think number 20 or Andra takes that spot. Sorry, Lena. I know I mentioned before that number 20 is my favorite. I even ranked her 10 out of 10 when we first unboxed her. But I don't know. Number 20 grew on me and right now I think she is my favorite in the bunch. That's all the time we have today. I'm so excited to get my hands on the remaining two dolls that we don't have yet from this series and I'm sure our fellow collectors and doll enthusiasts are too. Let me know in the comments down below which of the Wave 4 dolls you have ordered and how many of each you got because you can never have enough dolls. Thank you for joining us in um, undressing our dolls and looking at their outfits up close. Give us a like. Find us in our other socials, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more unboxing and reviews. We'll see you next time.